Hi, I'm State Representative Kevin Schreiber, and we're here tonight at the Strand Capitol Theater in downtown New York, and we are celebrating the launch party for the online market survey for a conceptual project in New York, Pennsylvania by a development company called Artspace. Artspace develops uh, artist housing and studio space, and some may remember they came to York about a year ago in February of last year did a feasibility study and determined that York was a very cool town and they want to work in York and they like our art scene. So they're back one year hence and what they're going to do tonight is launch a public survey. They want to hear from you. They want to hear what you think of this project. Uh, so we are inviting everyone to go online to www.artspaceyork.org. It's also on Facebook at facebook.com slash artspaceyork. So if you go on, check that out, take the survey. It takes 10 minutes and that will help inform uh, whether or not we, de we develop artist housing here in York, Pennsylvania. This could be a great thing for our artist community, a real shot in our arm for our city, and certainly we want to uh, open it up for everyone's opinion, so we want to hear from you. www.artspaceyork.org. Thank you. Thank you all so much for coming. Tonight is the Art Space Survey launch party. I see some stickers on there that say, Survey says Art Space. So I'm so glad that some of you have taken the survey. I'm Kelly Gibson. I'm the Director of Communications and Engagement with the Cultural Alliance of York County. We are so thrilled to be part of the Art Space Project, in addition with so many other great organizations. And if you aren't familiar with us, the Cultural Alliance of York County is um, an organization that supports the arts and culture in York. Piece by piece, project by project, the Cultural Alliance of York County fosters a thriving community through our eight partner agencies and creative impact awards. So we're thrilled to have this as another project that we're working on with so many of you. So I would like to introduce a partner agency of the Cultural Alliance of York County, Greater York Dance and the Mid-State Ballet. Some performers are here to entertain you, so let's welcome them. I'm a ballerina dog, how I love to dance. How I love, how I love, how I love to dance. One, two, three. <laughs> Theater. My name is Kevin Schreiber. I am one of your state representatives in the room tonight, but I want to thank everyone specifically for coming out uh, on a cold night, but also coming out to support the arts. This is an incredible night that we have planned. Uh, we're going to get to it in a little bit, but first I would like to introduce someone who is very inspirational. Uh, she can inspire you verbally and beyond our York City Poet Laureate, Miss Carla Christopher. I don't know if I could carry off those costumes from the last act. That would, that would be inspiring too, I think. It's not easy in a land steeped in history, the weight of the first capital on our shoulders. Traditions, they can be like boulders. 
We have so much to live up to, but we're still trying to create something new. To lift that weight on the backs of our ideas and taking chances to make the decision to elevate our new history and show that we're worthy of everything that came before. Now, we don't own this city. It's borrowed from our youth, and it's hard for them to appreciate the truth of how we struggle to get here, but we can put them there. See, the stories aren't on Twitter, but we can tell York's new history in a Facebook share. Now, we could put it on a website with faces in full color. We could blog it, White Rose Community Television, and record it, then dispatch it. And right now, we can open doors and walk right through it, because this is a renaissance. That means the rebirth of a story already steeped in hardworking history, but given new life to show that we can trailblaze in any century. So, York City, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah! That's, that's your trailblazing spirit? Did you hear what I just said about you people? Yes! Yes! Now, this is the trivia question for the night. Does anyone know exactly how big York City is? Real big. 28 people. <laughs> we are actually, well, it depends. This is a hotly contested and debated topic. With the Cadores Creek included, we are 5.3 square miles. Without it, we have 5.2 square miles of land mass. But what amazes me is how much talent, when you look just around this room, I'm like, this is the better than the who's who of the entire cable and everything, like every TV show ever. I mean, the artists that are here, the musicians that are here, and we are all creating and existing in five, five little square miles. Five little square miles. Hi, my name is Anna Grocott. I'm here with Artspace Projects. We're in New York, Pennsylvania today to launch the Arts Market Survey. So we're, this is a big launch party. We're getting out people from the community, as many artists, creatives, and people who care about the arts in New York uh, to come hear about this conceptual project that we've been talking about with leaders in New York and hear about the survey and how that can help uh, shape what a potential project might look like. Well, when, when we were here the first time, we, we thought that there, there was a, a, a real interest on the part of the city in moving forward with a live work project if there was a market. And they understood that, you, that, that we have to test for that. Uh, and, and why we're here now is because uh, we're doing an arts market survey. And that is a, a standard uh, step on the path uh, uh, to an arts based project. And what we're trying to do is measure the, the market for live work space, affordable live work space for artists uh, in the city of York. And uh, what we hope to determine is, is if there is a sufficient market uh, for us to move ahead with, with plans for a project. I think the city is very interested. I think the city is looking for ways to help fund it. And, and the, the, the city would have some responsibilities, although most of the funding for the projects that we do around the country comes from federal low-income housing tax credits, which are awarded in each state by a state house, housing finance agency. And so it's federal money that is filtered back into the states and through the states, and it's used for affordable housing. So, so if we were to do a project in New York, we would leverage uh, the city's investment in the project by seven or eight to one. With the launch of the survey tonight, we'll have the survey online for about a month where artists, creatives, uh, community members who are interested in the arts can give us their feedback about what kind of space is needed, both living, working, and community space. Uh, we will take a look at those numbers, and if everything looks great, uh, we'll meet uh, back with York leaders and uh, talk about what the next steps might be. Uh, if everything is looking really good and um, there's interest, the next step would be a pre-development. So we start looking at sites uh, in earnest to look at what would be the best fit for the market that we've found during this second step. I'm super excited. <laughs> I think it's going to be an awesome project for everybody. We can get some people who are pros at doing what they're doing to come in and help York with, with accelerating the city and getting a jump on all the arts. 
Uh, Artspace was invited to York about a year ago uh, to come look at, uh, do a preliminary feasibility visit to meet with local leaders, art, uh, some artists and arts organizations, uh, and talk to community members about what a project like this might mean. Uh, they also looked at a couple buildings and um, held a public meeting, not unlike the one tonight, uh, and went back to Minneapolis, I talked about it with colleagues, and determined that York is a really cool place. There's a lot of energy around the arts, a lot of energy around what might be uh, in York if a project like this happens. So we encouraged the leaders of York to move forward and uh, they invited us back. So we're taking the second step in the process of creating an art space project. Um, I work for a gallery called the Parliament Downtown. So I'm very involved in a lot of the stuff going on. I love just being able to go downtown and knowing people through networking from everything else in the arts that's going on. It's amazing. First Friday is my life. <laughs> I liked York a lot when I was here a year ago. It was Valentine's Day when we were here a year ago. And uh, it's, uh, it's colder today <laughs> than it was a year ago. And, um, but, uh, but York is my kind of city. I, I, I like it a lot. It, you know, I like the old buildings. I like the, the, the sense that, that something is happening. There's, there's a real energy about the city that, that is, 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 is fun and, and ex exciting for, for people who work for art space. Uh, it just, you know, we'd, we'd love to see a project uh, happen here if, if there's a market for it. And, um, and now we're about to find out. Do I paint? I, I went to York College, um, so now I um, I make these strange abstract paintings. I brought one with me that's over in the corner. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, as long as the price is right, if I can have a place where I can live and work in the same time and know my neighbors and trust my neighbors and maybe have some um, like gallery or exhibition space, that would be awesome. Um, the art crawl thing they were talking about, where people come through and um, see your space and see your work sounds like a great opportunity. It'd be something I'd love to do. Yeah. Um, so the Parliament is a nonprofit arts gallery that's on King Street right across from Kleppers. We do monthly First Friday shows. Um, everything is something new. We do everything from a full um, skate deck show with 55 artists that are hand-painted skateboards to an all-nudes show to a huge collaboration with art and fashion in the city that's coming up in April. We run the gamut. We're trying to connect the creatives to the rest of the city. Artspaceyork.org and, and anybody can go to, go to that website and take the survey. It'll be up for 60 days. And um, I, especially people who are artists uh, who uh, qualify for affordable housing, and um, uh, which is to say if you're an artist and you're not making very much money, you probably qualify for affordable housing. And you should go take the survey uh, and, and, um, and, and and we'll see. The, the more who, people who take it, the more, the more, the better the results will be in terms of, of being an accurate read of what the market for artist housing is in York.